What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. We're gonna end the season off with a new little series that we're probably gonna continue in the future. Calling it this time for the 15 for 15. Going over 15 craftable weapons that I have used and leveled up this season all the way to max. And we're just in the process of getting the materials to upgrade them all the way. So first off, as you can see, we're going over the Sweet and Sorrow Auto Rifle with that Arc Burn. This is a 720 RPM, so a little faster than our other like 540s. We're going to build this thing out in PvP and PvE, going over the PvP first here. So for me, for that intrinsic trait for our rapid fire frame here, I'm going with the range on it. Now, when we move over to our barrel here, we're going to go with the small bore because it gives us increased range and stability in our barrel. Moving on to the second slot, we're going with accurized rounds in the magazine. This gives us that nice increased range, which we do end up with 50 range and 61 stability with 52 bullets in the magazine. So you can shoot this thing for quite, quite some time. Now for me, I'm going with perpetual motion. So this weapon gains additional bonus stability, handling reload speed while the wielder is in motion for a short duration. So this is very, very easy to proc in the crucible. You are always, always running around. Last but not least over here, we're gonna have Focused Fury. So dealing half of the magazine as precision damage grants bonus damage for the future. We could also throw on Vorpal Weapon for really nailing those arc supers right now. This thing absolutely would shred, but with that 52 mag, you're hitting 26 of those bullets on Guardians and this thing absolutely shreds in sixes. Especially when you can get some of those other things going on. It is absolutely gnarly because when you're amplified, you can just reload super fast, continue that grind. And even with some of those storm grenades, stuff like that in this with chaining of that lightning, having that additional damage on this weapon is super, super nice. Moving on to the PVE side of this weapon, pairing it with our arc super, if you would like, or those arc shields like right this season we have anti-barriers super super clutch so for our intrinsic trait we're going to go with reload speed so we are absolutely able to just reload automatically especially when we're doing something with amplification and the arc super now moving on to barrels over here, we're gonna go with polygonal rifle again right here, just because this gives us that increased stability, which for the PVE realm seems like a super, super nice aspect to have on here, just because we're usually using it for consistent damage on an enemy, or there's a lot of ads to clear. Now for our magazine, for me, I'm using Tactical Mag because this gives us increase to stability, reload, and magazine size. Like compared to something with Appended Mag, we're not getting any of those added buffs to that stability and reload speed. So definitely throw Tactical Mag on for the PvE realm. Now this weapon has a very nice combination of perks and stats for all and one for all, which is what I'm definitely going to craft on this bad boy. So we have stats for all, so hitting three separate target increases its handling, stability, reload, and range, which is super, super nice in the PvE realm, getting all of those to increase because it is very easy in most aspects to hit three separate targets. This pairs perfectly with one for all over here because hitting three separate targets gives us improved damage for an improved duration. So it is a perfect synergy with hitting three separate targets. You get everything in handling, stability, reload, range, and damage all just from these two perks right here. So combining those together in our PVE realm, you're absolutely able to shred those red bar enemies. And then moving on to like even the champions, if you can get these to proc and you have something like major spec on for a barrier champion, this thing does a good amount of damage, especially with that high fire rate and 55 in the magazine. It helps keep that health down for those 
those champions so they don't get it back very fast like those overloads do which we definitely still need something to fix that up a little bit but hopefully y'all can grind these weapons out this is number one out of 15 that i'm gonna go over probably gonna take us right to the end of the season with maybe a couple extra little bit of content sprinkled in there if we get something exciting to happen so be on the lookout for all of that the next one that we have coming out is the defiance of yasmin sniper this thing is a beast in pvp